the Hadoop ecosystem is continuously growing to meet the needs of big data. Let's understand the role of each component of the Hadoop ecosystem. It's comprised of the following 12 components. Hadoop Distributed File System, HBase, Scoop, Flume, Spark, Hadoop MapReduce, Pig, Impala, Hive, Cloudera's Search, Uzi, Hue. You will learn about the role of each component of the Hadoop ecosystem in the next screens. However, you will learn about Yarn and its architecture in the next lesson only. Hadoop Distributed File System Let's understand the meaning and importance of HDFS. HDFS is a storage layer for Hadoop, suitable for distributed storage and processing. That is, while the data is being stored, it first gets distributed and then it is processed. HDFS provides streaming access to file system data, file permission and authentication. HDFS uses a command line interface to interact with Hadoop. So what stores data in HDFS? It is the HBase which stores data in HDFS. HBase is a NoSQL database or non-relational database. HBase is important and mainly used when you need random, real-time read or write access to your big data. It provides support to high volume of data and high throughput. In an HBase, a table can have thousands of columns. We discussed how data is distributed and stored. Now let's understand how this data is ingested or transferred to HDFS. It is done by Scoop. Scoop is a tool designed to transfer data between Hadoop and relational database servers. It's used to import data from relational databases, such as Oracle and MySQL, to HDFS, and export data from HDFS to relational databases. If you want to ingest event data, such as streaming data, sensor data, or log files, then you can use Flume. Flume is a distributed service that collects event data and transfers it to HDFS. It is ideally suited for event data from multiple systems. After the data is transferred in the HDFS, it is processed. One of the framework that processes data is Spark. Spark is an open source cluster computing framework. It provides up to 100 times faster performance for a few applications with in-memory primitives as compared to the two-stage disk-based MapReduce paradigm of Hadoop. Spark can run in the Hadoop cluster and processes data in HDFS. It also supports a wide variety of workload, which includes machine learning, business intelligence, streaming, and batch processing. Spark has the following major components, as shown in the diagram. Spark Core and Resilient Distributed Datasets, or RDD. Spark SQL, Spark Streaming, Machine Learning Library, or MLib, and Graphics. Spark is now widely used, and you will learn more about it in subsequent lessons. Hadoop MapReduce is the other framework that processes data. It is the original Hadoop processing engine, which is primarily Java-based. It's based on the Map and Reduce programming model. Many tools, such as Hive and Pig, are built on MapReduce model. It has an extensive and mature fault tolerance built into the framework. It is still very commonly used, but is losing ground to Spark. After the data is processed, it is analyzed. It can be done by an open source high level data flow system called PIG. It's used mainly for analytics. PIG converts its scripts to map and reduce code, thus saving the user from writing complex map reduce programs. Ad hoc queries like filter and join, which are difficult to perform in map reduce, can be done easily using PIG. You can also use Impala to analyze data. It is an open source high performance SQL engine, which runs on the Hadoop cluster. It is ideal for interactive analysis and has very low latency, which can be measured in milliseconds. Impala supports a dialect of SQL, so data in HDFS is modeled as a database table. You can also perform data analysis using Hive. It is an abstraction layer on top of Hadoop. It's very similar to Impala, however, it's preferred for data processing and extract, transform, load, also known as ETL operations. Impala is preferred for ad hoc queries. Hive executes queries using MapReduce, 
However, a user need not write any code in low-level MapReduce. Hive is suitable for structured data. After the data is analyzed, it is ready for the users to access. What supports the search of data? It can be done using Cloudera's search. Search is one of Cloudera's near real-time access products. It enables non-technical users to search and explore data stored in or ingested into Hadoop and HBase. Users do not need SQL or programming skills to use Cloudera's search because it provides a simple, full-text interface for searching. Another benefit of Cloudera's search compared to standalone search solutions is the fully integrated data processing platform. Cloudera's search uses the flexible, scalable, and robust storage system included with CDH, or Cloudera's distribution including Hadoop. This eliminates the need to move large data sets across infrastructures to address business tasks. Hadoop jobs, such as MapReduce, Pig, Hive, and Scoop, have workflows. Uzi is a workflow or coordination system that you can use to manage the Hadoop jobs. Uzi application lifecycle is shown in the diagram. As you can see, multiple actions occur between the start and end of the workflow. Another component in Hadoop ecosystem is Hue. Hue is an acronym for Hadoop User Experience. It is an open source web interface for Hadoop. You can perform the following operations using Hue. Upload and browse data. Query a table in Hive and Impala. Run Spark and Pig jobs and workflows. Search data. Hue makes Hadoop easier to use. It also provides SQL Editor for Hive, Impala, MySQL, Oracle, PostgreSQL, Spark SQL, and Solar SQL. We will learn more about Hue in our future lessons. After a brief overview of the 12 components of the Hadoop ecosystem, we will now discuss how these components work together to process big data. There are four stages of big data processing. Ingest, Processing, Analyze, Access. The first stage of big data processing is ingest. The data is ingested or transferred to Hadoop from various sources such as relational databases, systems, or local files. As discussed earlier in this lesson, you know that Scoop transfers data from RDBMS to HDFS, whereas Flume transfers event data. The second stage is processing. In this stage, the data is stored and processed. We discussed earlier that the data is stored in the distributed file system, HDFS, and the NoSQL distributed data, HBase. Spark and MapReduce perform the data processing. The third stage is analyze. Here, the data is analyzed by processing frameworks, such as PIG, Hive, and Impala. PIG converts the data using Map and Reduce and then analyzes it. Hive is also based on Map and Reduce programming and is most suitable for structured data. The fourth stage is access, which is performed by tools such as Hue and Cloudera's search. In this stage, the analyzed data can be accessed by users. Hue is the web interface whereas Cloudera's search provides a text interface for exploring data. Hey, want to become an expert in big data? Then subscribe to the Simply Learn channel and click here to watch more such videos. To nerd up and get certified in big data, click here.